Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to touch on a big thing that I see on a lot of Facebook groups here in Cochrane, Alberta, and what I've heard from a lot of residents, and that is the construction in Cochrane, Alberta. So this video is just going to be a construction update video talking about how the current projects are going, what projects were completed this summer, and maybe a little insight into what could be to come for the town of Cochrane in 2025. Before I dive too much into the construction and that hot topic here in Cochrane, Alberta, I just want to shed a little bit of light coming from an engineering and construction background. Now, anytime a town is growing, and Cochrane has been growing substantially over the past five to 10 years, being one of Alberta's fastest five growing municipalities. With that, we've seen almost a 24% increase in population over the last five years. And so, and with that population growth, there's two ways a town can address that. Obviously, they can act proactively and upgrade that infrastructure as they see with that forecast of growth in mind, or they can act reactively, meaning the town grows and the traffic becomes too much to manage, and then they have to make those changes then. The one thing that I've seen, and obviously working in an engineering background for six years, working with different municipalities, is that a lot of times smaller towns, because of budget constraints, only really sit there and go reactively. So they wait for services to start failing, or they wait for roads to become so unmanageable that the province almost has to step in, give some funding, and then because they're waiting on that provincial funding, there's delays in the starts of projects, and, and it can seem like the town is chasing themselves. Now, in my own personal experience with working with the town of Cochrane, that is not how that town operates. In my mind, Cochrane is a very proactive town when it comes to its infrastructure management, and that can be highlighted from the past few years where they've been doing all the upgrades to water mains and sewer and septic and the curbs in some of the older communities, such as the East End, the downtown area, you know, right, revitalizing the old gravel pit turning it into a community in Greystone, revitalizing the whole area where you now find your Walmart, Canadian Tire, and all your giant shopping center. That was all an old industrial area that the town has now converted into a very usable and core infrastructure component for the town. Now, with that being said, obviously there is things that the town is not in control of, mainly being the highway infrastructure. And that leads you into that large scale construction project that is kind of overshadowing Cochrane currently, which is the Highway 22 and Highway 1A construction project. I'm gonna to touch on that one later in the video. First things first, we're gonna dive into the town itself, talk about some of the projects they've been doing over the summer, the ones they've completed, and then we'll move through the video as we go. Now, I like providing this content to you guys, obviously free of charge. I think it's very important that if you are choosing to think about moving to Cochrane, Alberta, you need to be aware of everything going on in the town from the communities that exist in the town to the types of infrastructure and amenities that the town has. And so if you're finding this information useful, I'd really appreciate it if you could click the link below, subscribe to the channel, maybe hit a like and drop a comment. And that way I know that this information is useful to you guys and I can continue doing more of that content. The first project I want to talk on started earlier this spring, and it was a force main improvement project. And obviously that one had a bit of a delay where a crew hit a water line, which caused a lot of concern with the town. However, that was mitigated, repaired, and that project is now complete. That one's located down in Riverfront Park. And as part of that construction, they did tear up the pathway leading from Riverfront Park, heading east towards the Spray Lake Sawmill Center. Now that pathway has been repaved as of yet, and they've seeded the grass alongside of it. However, you are going to see that snow fencing probably remain throughout the winter months and into next spring, waiting for that seeding to take hold and those grasses to actually grow before the public is allowed on that space. The one thing they didn't do was really upset too much of the disc golf course. So if that's an activity you enjoy with your friends and family, that course is still open. Now jumping into the downtown part of Cochrane and touching on a construction project that caused quite a bit of delays and frustration for the residents was the resurfacing, repaving, and underground infrastructure upgrades on First Street. Now, First Street there crossed Main Avenue, which is the direct feeder into the shopping center of Sobeys, uh, Canadian Tire, Walmart, and everything down in that area, as well as right on the Main Street by the RBC and the Home Hardware. So that caused quite a bit of backup in that section of town, obviously really affecting the residents in East End and moving into Cochrane Heights, but also anybody trying to leave the shopping areas to get back to Highway 1A were forced to kind of take a different route, whether it be down Railway Avenue or back out Griffin Road towards Fifth Ave or the highway there. So just as an overhead showing overhead here, that construction is all fully completed and the repaving has been finished. 
The other big change that Cochran saw over the last couple of years was Main Avenue and that whole big shopping center being completed you know, prior to 2020 here, they took out one of the rail crossings, the old one that used to be behind Little Caesars, and they relocated it to Main Ave. And that was done because CP Rail has a limit for the number of crossings in a certain distance. So they had to close one of the crossings in order to open up that one. Now with that, we saw all the traffic coming out of Cochrane High School, Sunterra Heights, and that area up on top of the hill coming down into Cochrane, crossing over on 4th Avenue. And then there was an additional set of lights at 5th Ave. So instead of having those two intersections, Cochrane made a change, diverting the traffic down 4th Ave and having it cross directly into 5th Ave, removing that unnecessary intersection at 4th Ave and Highway 1A. This now is complete and it does reduce some of the stop and go traffic coming through Cochrane on Highway 1A. And in my opinion, was a really good upgrade. At this intersection, this is also the home of the new Cochrane sign. Uh, it's under it was under construction in the time I shot the video, but it's now since been completed. It's just a nice little feature upgrade as you're driving through town, spruces up the view instead of a big blank retaining wall. You've got a nice little sign showing off the newness and the upgrades that Cochrane is experiencing. Okay, now finally, let's talk about the big project going on in Cochrane, and that is the Highway 22 and Highway 1A interchange. Now, I'm sure all of you are, you know, frustrated and over the fact that we have that roundabout and the traffic patterns keep changing. And a lot of the older residents that have grown up in Cochrane, been around in Cochrane, let's jump back here and remember that that intersection used to be a four-way stop. And now while it did come with the A1 restaurant and in my opinion, better ice cream than McKay's, that's all since changed. And we have moved into a set of lights that didn't even have turn lanes. We moved into lights with turn lanes and the town is just growing too much and the traffic out to the mountains and to Ghost Lake is becoming too much that obviously that intersection was not operating the way it should. And so the provincial government provided funding. This big project is commencing. And yes, it is a bit of a headache right now. As you can see, they're starting the bridge work over Highway 1A and the CP rail tracks. And I'll show them, throw in some clips here. And then with that, they're going to be adding an additional lane going up the hill towards Sunset Ridge, which in my opinion is long overdue. Sunset Ridge is a very large community, over 30 phases, a ton of residents. There's a ton of traffic coming down that hill every morning and heading up the hill every night. And adding those additional lanes will make that commute for those Sunset Ridge residents a lot better. Coming with that repaving and adding that extra lane will be a dedicated left turn lane leaving Sunset Ridge, uh, adding an, an additional left-hand turn lane. So there'll be two leaving Sunset Ridge in the morning, which should alleviate some of that traffic coming out of Sunset Ridge on your morning commute. With all that being said, this project is going to continue all throughout 2025, likely not finishing until they say into 2026. So we'll hope that they get that completed in the summer months of 2026. So just be prepared if you're moving to Cochrane in the next year here, that construction is still going to be ongoing. And that is something that you're going to have to prepare for. Outside of that, Cochrane is seeing some additional changes in terms of projects. Now, these are not necessarily the town's projects, but obviously we have a new community of South Bow Landing being built with stripping and grading happening and show homes being built currently. And then there is another new community coming just west of Heritage Hills that hasn't fully really been announced yet. You can find a website online if you know where to look, but nothing really has happened there as of yet. So look for that into 2025 because I don't imagine anything's going to happen this fall. Outside of that, Cochrane likely will continue its program into 2025 with some upgrades of its infrastructure, whether it be the downtown core or in some of the older communities, upgrading those infrastructure pieces like repaving, underground utilities, water main services, and everything like that. And I really want to put that message out there that this is a positive thing. By upgrading these services ahead of time and being proactive, we reduce the risk of what's happening in Calgary, where you've seen an aging water main constantly break and have to be repaired over and over and over again. And if you ask residents in Calgary, I'm sure they would have rathered a two-week, three-week notice and a project outlined, planned by an engineering firm, then the no notice water main break and months of no water and no water usage that they experienced over the summer. I hope this information and this little highlight on Cochrane Alberta's construction was helpful. If you like this kind of content or you want to see more community tours, let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know which type of content you prefer and that way we can tailor this channel best for you, the viewer. And as always, thanks and I will see you in the next one.